I was inspired to start Project Backboard really because I was out in the public parks and noticing that most of the courts didn't have lines on them. So Project Backboard really started just by adding lines to courts so kids could work on their game and it's kind of grown and expanded to include collaborating with artists when we, when we work on basketball courts. We've renovated with Project Backboard like 13 courts that I've personally painted. Um, and then, you know, a whole bunch of others where I've helped others through the process. Frankly, like with cuts to government funding and, and parks departments are already overstretched. And so Project Backboards helped me bring funding into public park spaces by, you know, using the art, by engaging community that wouldn't be spent in public parks otherwise. You know, I found the art is one way that that brings people together into the public spaces, but it's really about a gathering place for community. We're at FM Smith Recreation Center in East Lake Merritt, neighborhood of Oakland. Uh, the artist is Alicia McCarthy, born and raised in Oakland. Um, you know, and, and we're adding some colors and a, and a colorful weave to the court um, to kind of represent the unique fabric that, that makes up Oakland. People gonna hoop regardless, you know, so it's cool to make it beautiful, you know, so people when they come, they like enjoy themselves a little bit more. It's better than just seeing like a bland asphalt, you know, it's like, it pops. The main courts are these two landscapes, and then you have at the three-point um, area, four rainbows reflecting the diversity of the community. And within those rainbows, you have a kind of a, an abstract interpretation of home. For a lot of basketball players, the idea of the basketball court as a home away from home um, really resonated. I think it's beautiful. I think that this artwork is extremely unique, and I think that it adds a lot of value to the space itself. It just represents your neighborhood in a really good way. I was raised in the Bay Area. Uh, for this to come to Oakland is super, super cool. I, I think like art brings a lot to the game of basketball, especially in courts such as these. I think it makes it more of like a welcoming place, and especially out in near like East Oakland, California, where you don't get a lot, of, a lot of love. It's awesome what they're doing, and that you continue to do it out here in East Oakland and other places like it. Finishing a court always feels great. It just makes you want to get out and, and start playing. You know, we see that now in every court. You get more users, the park becomes busier, safer, cleaner, and you get more families. The young women seem to be out in the court space, and so it's just been really fun to see the way just adding some color in a different and unique way can change the way people relate to the space. You know, I love basketball. I think there's a lot to be learned from playing basketball in public parks, and uh, you know, anything that can bring more people into the park, I'm going to try to do. I'm grateful I've had the opportunity to inspire people to work on their public parks and to create spaces that people want to be in and you know for me I just take it kind of one court at a time and I'm sure I'll never run out of courts.